So as I mentioned before in the previous video, Heroku doesn't really play nice with images. So, so to take care of that, we need to use something like Amazon S3 for storage. So we're going to set that up now. Let's uh, search, go to rubygems.org. We're going to need to install the AWS SDK gem. Let's grab the latest and go to our gem file. We have a lot of stuff open. Let's close all of that. Let's also close all these just to uh, make sure things are nice and tidy. There we go. All right, let's search for the gem file. So below paperclip, let's uh, paste in gem. At this time, it's a uh, 2.0.33. Let's save that and go to our terminal do a bundle install. And this will go out and fetch all the necessary files for you. So if you go to Google search for paperclip images on Heroku, there's a uh, Heroku article on uploading files to S3 uh, with paperclip. So the configuration, if you go down a bit, it says uh, add the AWS SDK. We already did that. Ran bundle install. Next, uh, restart our server. Almost forgot about that. Go back. The next thing we need to do is specify the AWS configuration variables in our production environment. So I'm going to copy this line right here. And let's go to uh, config environments and uh, production.rb. So anything added here will only be run in production. So uh, let's tab this in. And uh, I'll also make a note that this is sets paperclip to uh, upload to Amazon S3 by default. Okay, so uh, what this is doing is it's uh, setting up a configuration for the paperclip defaults. The storage is uh, S3, and then the, the S3 credentials, um, the bucket name, the access key ID, and the secret access key ID are assigned to these environment variables. And uh, what the environment variable is, is basically everything we've been doing up until now has been public. Uh, we've been pushing to GitHub and all of that is uh, free for anyone to see. Uh, but for stuff like the bucket name and the access key, we don't want to share that with uh, anyone. So for that reason, we are assigning them to environment variables to make sure that we don't actually add these and then push it into uh, version control, so uh, nobody will be able to access it. And then later we are going to add these to Heroku through the terminal. All right, so for now, what we need to do is uh, create an S3 account and set up the bucket for uh, the images and such. So let's save that. Now let's go to search for Amazon S3. First link, simple storage service. If you click uh, Try Amazon for free and go through the process of signing up, you'll definitely need to do that in order to uh, set this up correctly. Uh, I've already done that. Uh, after you set it up and sign in, we can uh, create a new bucket. And this bucket name I'm going to call Podcast FM. And region, uh, I'll just leave, I'll change it to US Standard and Create. Uh, bucket name cannot contain a regional character. Can it contain dash? I'm not sure. Let's try to create that. Okay, so podcast dash FM. So I'm going to select this podcast, uh, go over to the properties, and then we need to go down to the permissions. Um, I'm going to add a new permission for everyone, and then we need to set it up so everyone can have access to all of these. Otherwise, um, you'll run into errors when uh, your Heroku app tries to access these images. So let's save that. So if you go back to the file, so if we go back to the uh, blog post on how to set this up, you can see we need to set up the uh, AWS configuration variables on 
Heroku. So what we need to do is in our terminal run Heroku config set um, S3 bucket name, uh, which refers to the environment variable and the AWS ID. Uh, basically, we're assigning these environment variables. So let's uh, go ahead and start doing that. I'm going to copy that over. So I'm going to paste that in and then um, my bucket name is called podcast-fm. Uh, so you can see S3 bucket name is podcast FM. So the next things we need are AWS access key ID and your secret access key ID. For those, we need to uh, go to the under your username, security credentials. Um, it says you are accessing the security credentials page. Continue. We need to access the keys, the access key ID and the secret key. Uh, so we want to create a new key. So this key will only be shown once. So if you need access to it again, you'll want to download it. Uh, for now, I'm just going to show it. But you never want to uh, share these with anyone uh, or put it in version control like Git or anything. In fact, I'm going to delete this account after uh, this video is over. But I'll copy these. So I'm going to assign the uh, access key ID. So let me grab that next one. Heroku config set um, access key ID equals. Let's paste that in. And then I'm going to copy my access key and assign that. Then the next one, the AWS secret key. Let's paste that into the terminal. And I'm going to grab the secret key, copy and paste that in. So now if I do Heroku config, it will show everything, all my configuration settings for my Heroku app. S3 bucket name, the AWS access key ID, secret key ID. So those are all set and good to go. So the next thing we need to do is uh, commit our work, git s. Let's do git commit dash am. So I'm going to say added um, AWS WS SDK gem and um, config to production RB uh, for Amazon S3 storage. Now let's do a git push and a git push Heroku master. Okay, so now that that is done, let's uh, open up the podcast.fm. Let's refresh it. So as you can see, that link did indeed break. So let's uh, go to our dashboard. Let's edit and let's upload it again. Let's upload a different one just in case. Update the episode. Uh, we're sorry, but something went wrong. So let's check the Heroku logs, see what happened. So name error, uninitialized constant, uh, paperclip. Hmm. So I'm going to try to restart Heroku. And uh, let me try that again. So I'm going to refresh. All right, and I'm going to pick the image. And then upload it again. Hmm. Heroku logs. So name error, uninitialized constant, uh, paperclip storage. Let's uh, copy that, paste it into Google and see what comes up. So right here, this says the issue was introduced with the new version of AWS uh, 2.0 plus. So uh, modify your gem file AWS SDK to install a version prior to 2.0. So I'm going to try that. I'm going to copy it, uh, go to my gem file. So I have 2.0.33. Let's instead do uh, 2.0 and then uh, go and let's do a bundle install. Now I'll do a git s git commit dash am change aws sdk 
jam to below 2.0 version. Now let's try git push. Now let's try git push Heroku master. Okay, and let's go back to Heroku, our Heroku app, uh, refresh, and let's uh, give it another try. So let's select another image and hit update. Hopefully we don't get the same error. Awesome. So uh, that seemed to work correctly. Let's check the file path. It should be going to Amazon S3. So as you can see right here, the source goes to http slash slash s3.amazonaws. So that is working perfectly. So in the next episode, we are going to get to the heart of our application, which uh, we have not actually done at all since we started. Um, we are going to set up the MP3 player.